and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Abzan enchantments that we're going to be playing here in Standard. This is a donation deck, so we're going to be playing it through a league. We got three donation decks to play for the, the rest of the night. Um, enchantments look really strong, just the enchantment um, theme, you know, like just the, the shell, I guess. It looks really strong from um, Theros Beyond Death, maybe the strongest thing to be doing. And so we have an we have a donation deck here to, to you know, like we played green white enchantments yesterday and I love that deck, and uh, <clears throat> we have a donation deck here to to uh, add black to the deck you know play an Abzan shell. There's a couple of things that that I'm not so sure about. Uh, we, we're just talking about like the mana base. I I, I don't like three pay, three fable passage for basics and I don't like that we don't have castles at all. But you know be, you know like that's just that's just kind of how it is. But besides that. Um, I like a lot, like, you know, I like just a lot of these cards. Like, this is just a, a pretty decent deck. I'm interested to see how good Treacherous Blessing is with us not being able to get rid of Treacherous Blessing. Like, we don't have any, like, enchantment removal. I kind of want to have, like, Vraska or Knight of Autumn that can get rid of that pretty easy for us. Um, that's one thing. And then if we're since we're playing black, I kind of wish we had a little bit more removal. Like, I think the two mana minus three minus three enchantment is really good. And I think that could just be a good removal spell to have with black um, being in here. Um, also, I just I, I was really impressed with Calyx yesterday. So I was thinking that we'd probably want more Calyxes in here. So those are all things that I'm going to be kind of thinking about like while I'm playing it. But um, it's good to play different cards. You know, this is going to be my first time playing Timurit Calls the Dead. I, I do like this card a whole lot. I'm not sure about, you know, 3 Alcide, 3 Archon. Um, you know, maybe I'll be really impressed by Archon. Um, I'm not sure, you know, how good Starfield Mystic will be in this, this build and how good Dryad's going to be. You know, like Dryad, you need, you know, you want to have a whole lot of extra lands that you can play. We don't really have card draw too much besides the champion. We're missing the, the two mana green creature that can draw us a lot of lands. I think we kind of want that card also. Um, you know, but like, so I wouldn't build it exactly like this, but that's the thing about, um, donation decks. It's good to play different, different cards because I could be wrong. And, um... And, you know, yeah, like, basically, uh, I'm not saying that I'll put it together perfectly either. Um, it's, these are, like, these are all new cards. Like, we need to see, we need to play them and see how they do. I haven't played this card yet either. Um, this card's looked pretty good from what other people have played. Um, from what I've seen, um, two mana, two one flyer, exile enchantments from your graveyard. This this is awesome with uh, Timoret that fills your graveyard. That's a really good combination. Um, but yeah, so let's, let's play some games. Let's see how strong this is. I think these, I think just like a lot of these cards are just really good. I think enchantments are very strong in the new set. You ran into a Niv-Mizzet adventure deck today. Ooh. Like, five mana Niv-Mizzet or six mana Niv-Mizzet? Um. What was I going to say? Yeah, let's keep this. I guess we can just lead with this and then play a Fable Passage the next turn. Hey, thanks, Drug Wizard. Thank you so much. Let the feel better soon. Cheers. Thank you. Halberd. But yeah, basically, I think there's a ton of potential with these enchantment decks, and we're, we're kind of... You know, testing out so early on in this format right now, we're kind of testing out different different cards and everything, and trying to find the right shell. I was very happy with I was very happy with the the green white deck that we played uh, yesterday. For those of y'all that missed that deck. Um, so I need to exile a creature or an enchantment. I think we want to exile the creature while we can so we can keep enchantments in the graveyard for the other thing. Yeah, the thing about playing the leagues, this is just like what I like to do with the donation decks, but sometimes you play against decks that are more beginner decks. Which is, that's what it looks like here. 
but I guess you never know. Um, probably need a Fable Passage before we run out of basics. Also, we don't take two damage. Let's just get another green. I'll trade all seed of life's bounty. I'm not sure how much like actual interaction they'll have. I guess this is unfortunate. I know that this only costs two now. I mean, I would like to draw that spinner, but oh well, we'll just mill it over. I'm shocking in so I can keep up the Al Seed of Life's Bounty activation. You like the Archon? Yeah. I do like the Archon against Red. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I like it, you know, definitely as a sideboard card, but even as a main deck. It's good. The thing is, there's a lot of good four drops. And it's not an actual enchantment on its own. Okay, yeah, as per control sideboard, you bring in Archon. Yeah. I like that. Especially if your as per control plays, like, some, if you play, like, Omen, the blue Omen. I guess there's a, a lot of different Omens with the blue Omen. And, you know, Othakaya. I don't think we really need to do too much here. We'll just keep it the same. Hopefully our opponent's learning. The Treacherous Blessing. Uh, we get to see how good Treacherous Blessing is. Well, at least, kind of. <laughs> at least the opponent has a Jace Avatar, so we can't feel too bad. We could lose this game. Oh no, that's not a good time to play Voracious Hydra. Not a good time to play Voracious Hydra. Yeah, they could have misclicked. That could have happened for sure. Hmm. Misclick when the next spell is multiple misclicks. Yeah, could have been multiple misclicks. 
this thing have trample? It has reach? That's weird. So if I take six, we can take six. Each of these spells puts a 2 2 lifelinker into play, but also deals the damage to me. Hey, magic matchups. Um, I like, yeah, I like the. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely hard to tell, um, but this this deck was built by a viewer, and so per personally, I like the green-white more. Um, but I think, <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised if Abzan ends up being the best enchantment color combination as a whole. It's not really a single thing here that if it would die I would care about. So I'm going to block. No. They killed all my life linkers. Sorry, excuse me. Gargos. Oh, right. I could have just activated Dusty Spinner and kill him. Sorry. Need to remember that about Destiny Spinner. Destiny Spinner is pretty sweet. That card's good. Yeah, I love the two mana Shepherd. Yeah, I think the two mana Shepherd's amazing. Right, the two mana shepherd. That's the one where you get the extra lands, right? Is that is that the two mana shepherd you're talking about? Is that the name of the card? Ooh, looks like we got some mastery pass stuff. Crack a pack. Mythic? No. All right, what do we got? We got a mastery tree thing. Oh, so I can pick any direction to go. So we we finished out black. So we could go blue, Omen of the Sea is good, and that thing's good, and that thing's good. Or we go green, no, no, yeah, meh, meh, yeah, alright, maybe white, bleh, 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 yes, bleh, meh, red, Hmm. So I want Heliod's Intervention, and I want... Maybe it's just blue. Because you get Thassa, and this, this Illyrios Enraptured School. Any chance we could see you play some Bant Pod? Yeah, definitely. I've always liked pod decks. Those are my kind of decks. I'll work on blue. Oh, there's this. What does the su suggest a pick do? Oh, the shepherd. Oh, the the four mana shepherd that we got to play for two mana. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, the, the two mana Seder is incredible. And we should. 
I mean, you should be playing that card in any enchantment deck. Just like you're playing Sat- like Satessan Champion, you're. It's pretty obvious that Satessan Champion you should be playing because it says draw a card. Well, the the Seder also just says draw a card. It just says you draw a land. But that's not a bad thing, drawing lands. I mean, it, you're still drawing cards. I think any any enchantment deck should just start with four of each of those ca- two cards and then throw a whole bunch of enchantments around them. I'm talking about for standard. Not really for other formats. Hmm. Don't want them to feel to ruin my Temple of Silence. No, I'm not feel I'm feeling worse than yesterday. How big is this mug? Um Probably like 16 ounce mug. That's the other thing about playing a three-color deck is it's it's difficult to cast your spells all the time with a three-color deck. So playing the the Seder, what's the name of that card anyway? When I play Seder and Bant Pod, I mean, what I mean it t- depends on what kind of pod deck you're making. There's there's a, a lot of different ways to make pod. If you're talking about the Enigma card where you want lots of enchantments, then yes. If you're just talking about Vanifar and Neoform. Then no. If they're not going to be playing a sweeper, I want to play Archon. They could have a sweeper. I probably want to play like, I want to play one of these two. Blessing just helps me hit land drops, and I just I need lands. Vogt Lex, thank you so much for that resub. I appreciate that. It says, hey Todd, do you think anything in the new set improved the Orzov Knights deck? Uh, you know, like probably removal. You know, like eat to extinction, and certainly Heliod's intervention in the sideboard. You know, like you definitely want that card. Um, but I don't, I don't know if there are any knights in the set. I, I haven't. I haven't really looked into that. Um, so I'm not sure of anything beyond those, to be honest.
Treacherous Blessing does a lot of damage to you. Um, I haven't, no, I haven't put together an Azorius deck myself. Uh, you know, we just played, like, the Jeskai Giants, which is, you know, close to Azorius. Um, we are playing a donation deck here later today that's Azorius Flicker. This is The High Road by Broken Bells. Nessian Wanderer. Thank you, that's the name of the the card that's very, very good. And is a two mana satyr that draws lands. Lands are valuable. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm kinda sick, uh, but uh, basically, all I've been doing is like resting. Besides, besides just the streaming. So, like, I'm okay. Puts an enchantment in my graveyard also for Ephemi, Ephemia. This is like a mono blue tempo, splashing a little bit of white. <clears throat> oh yeah, could have played Dusty Spinner first. Room. I am born of Nyx, child of the stars. Oh, right. That's not good. <laughs> New cards. My life. But you're not even you're not even dead now. <laughs> what were you doing? About, why'd you concede about it? You're not even dead. All right, more spinner. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, not a good sack outlet for blessing. That's not a good one. I want to play duress also. I want to cut down on our curve. I'm just kind of thinking about how I'm going to do that. I 
I wouldn't really mind playing dead weight. We don't really need L seed in this matchup. Okay, let's try this. Yeah, the, the, the three mana two four dryad, we could probably cut some of those too. They have L seed. Hey, Pride says I saw your YouTube, liked the decks, crafted, decided to follow you on Twitch. Well, thank you so much, Pride. Welcome, welcome to the channel. Hey, QQ. I did want... I did want my Duress to do a little bit more than... Like, do better than trade with a Veto. Waiting until turn two means with the duress means that I get to see an additional card. Yeah, and yeah, we didn't have to take any damage. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm going to take out the three mana two four and get some of the flyers back in, but the flyers do get bounced, but... I don't want to shock. I could have, you know, played Starfield Mystic and then, and, you know, shocked Starfield and then played that thing. I don't want to shock, though. Yeah, Arasta. Arasta's really good. I, I really liked Arasta in the green-white deck. Oh, 
Okay, still alive. For now. I cannot shock. Sure. Whoa, sorry. Sorry, I reach for the I reach for the mouse and just hit the mic. I'm sorry about that. What about the Lion 2 cost that you can make indestructible? Um, not really. The I wish that card was better, but no, unfortunately it's not too great. Just compared to like what we have in standard right now. And that's lethal. All right, so bring in those things, get rid of these, and these. Yeah, we had the Othakayas in the deck. I forgot about that. Like That, that would have been a great draw. <coughs> Won three times in a row and sealed with milling opponent with one and two cards left in your own deck. <laughs> that is awesome. Good job, Drake. Yeah. Sealed can be very slow. That's why, because sealed is sl that slow, that's why people, like, there's a there's a good amount of games that you should be choosing to be on the draw in sealed. Depending, you know, it depends on, like, what your deck looks like and what your opponent's deck looks like. But if you're not worried about being tempoed out, then you should maybe be on the draw to get that extra card. Oh, just saw a sick Saga plus Dance of the Mance deck. Omens and Sagas with Dance of the Mance. That that is true. Dance Dance got a lot of good stuff here with this set. That's a good call. Destiny Spinner. Don't counter my stuff. Creature and enchantment spells you control cannot be countered. I'm just going to Banishing Light this Terramander. I don't want to just like play the Ephemia and try to block. Let's just get that out of here. Playing, uh, I'm playing the Shockland because we're going to need the double black to play like the Shepherd next turn anyway. Hey, Azrael. Spinner is good. This thing's two mana. Yeah, one and a G for a two three.
Since you're already doing Mono Black and Pioneer, I think you're going to do Bant Enchantments and Standard with Auras, Satessin Training, and Staggering Insight being your focus. Okay. Cool. That sounds like a cool standard deck. So why are some creatures also enchantments? Is there a lore reasoning for that? Yeah, it's just something they started with the other Theros set as well. I don't know what the actual lore reasoning is behind it. Um, there, I'm sure there is one. But I just don't know what it is exactly. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm I'm under the weather. I'm a little sick. But they're keeping both cards on top. But you know, new set everything this time of year. It's I don't really want to take take the day off. Yeah, you know, we got, you know, over a thousand people in here. I don't wanna I, I wanna play the new cards and everything, you know. I'll, it's not like I'm it's not like I'm exerting myself too much or anything, you know, I'm just here chatting with y'all. Playing some magic on my computer. I'm not, you know, like out in public at work kind of thing. So. Here we go. Not bouncing the 4 4. Victory. Oh, are we 2 0 with this deck now? I kind of feel like we are. And I didn't update it before. Yeah, we too know. All right, so the lore is they are children of the gods created in the starfield of Nyx, the place where the gods live. And the starfield of Nyx transforms all permanents into enchantments. That card from, uh, I guess it was what, Journey, Journey to Nyx is what starfield of Nyx is from that set, I think. My opponent resolved the card. Next game. No, Pride. It, we don't. We don't like. I don't like calling any decks cancer. I don't think that's a a good way to refer to decks. That's just a. It's something that um, really. How do I say? Um, puts like it it cheapens the the very real battle that many people have faced with cancer and I I don't think it's a good way to describe decks diminishes yeah that's a good word I've only played against it one time, Azrael, the Team or Elemental deck. We played against it with Jeskai Giants. And one. Um, that was just the one time that I've played against it so far. How does Dance of the Mans work? for an enchantment god if you would make it a 4-4 with dance. Um, I'd have to read like what Dance of the Mance actually does. Does dance target like creatures that are enchantments also? I don't I don't know what the card I don't know. So I guess the answer is I don't know how that works. Of everything you've played and played against, what had felt the best so far? Um, the uh, the Selesnya Enchantments deck that we played yesterday, I really liked. That 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 deck felt very real. 
Um, the Jeskai Giants yesterday also felt really good. Um, the Teamer ramp has a whole lot of potential, and it's going to need a good amount of tuning still, but it has a lot of potential. I'm not, I don't think I'm as big a fan of this version of enchantments. This, this Ephemia card hasn't looked very good. We basically, you know, like we gotta be able to get enchantments into the graveyard for this thing. Our mana hasn't been as good. I have not seen the Athreos animation. The next deck that we're playing has Athreos in it. Yeah, I like yeah, I like Golgari too. I think I think Golgari is good as well. Okay, yeah, yeah. The Orzov, the Orzov deck that we're playing up next has some Athreos. So that that's 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 good. I'm I'm glad it. Glad it looked good. Yeah, I really like Myers Grasp. Yeah, Myers Grasp is pretty awesome. Hey, Snake Spur. The Archon's definitely been good. Good draw. My opponent should not have attacked with the Fervent Champions that, that last turn.
would have been a better draw before. Alright, so we'll have Deadweights, another Prison Realm, Oath of Kaya's. Maybe another spinner. Could play duress to get to exile Ember Cleave, or sorry, not duress, uh, to spark. Could play to spark to exile Ember Cleave. The Ember Cleave put me in a really rough spot. Everything kind of costs three. Could play Starfield Mystics instead of Timurit calls the dead. We're going to do that. Dryad. Dryad's a good blocker. Has the addition of black in the enchantment deck been worth it? I think it can be. I don't think it's I don't think it is with this version, but I think it can be. Forget about this card. I should probably just sideboard this thing out. Hey Prime. Um, there's a lot of stuff to do with, with the enchantments. And... There's a lot of good cards. Figuring out exactly which ones to play isn't the easiest. But, um... There's just a few things different that I want to be doing, that I want to be doing with this list. I'm, I'm definitely going to be continue to focus on the enchantment decks, and I'll, I'll make, um my own Abzan enchantment deck soon. But yeah, like green, white, green, black, and Abzan, they're, they're all good decks for different reasons. All have potential, at the very least. So exiling, so we want to exile like the creature like this, the Satessan champion, to the, t this Timurit. Uh, so that, because this exiles enchantment, so we want to keep the enchantments in the graveyard. I wouldn't be surprised if they had the, the three one. Maybe they're just sitting on Ember Cleave. It's not blocking. We'll just race. Hey, Millennium God. Thanks for that 10 month reset. Um, Gonna keep the one drop so I can double spell next turn. So that's our ninth of the day.
Yeah, I'm a little sick. I, I hope it doesn't bother y'all too much. My voice is a little different. <laughs> hope that's okay. Just gonna take out these Wolf Willow Havens. Because they don't affect combat. And I think I do want to play Dispark for Ember Cleave. I'm I need to take out something that costs either three or four mana. So is it Timurit? Is it Dryad? Is it Nightmare Shepherd? Is it Calyx? It's probably not Calyx. Could be Calyx. It's Nightmare Shepherd. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I guess, yeah, I guess that's not any different. The voice always bothers. <laughs> yep. Yeah, at least I'm sick right now and not when I'm actually moving in, you know, three or four weeks. Yes, two to four weeks. Yeah. Yeah, I really like Calyx. Uh, there's, there is enough good enchantments to make Calyx work. Wish the minus was more reliable. Uh, I think there's 25. I, would, I just guess there's 25 lands. I'm actually not sure. There's only 24. Ugh. There's only 24, and we're supposed to have Dryad. Hmm. It's not really enough lands. Playing Prison Realm meant I didn't have to shock. And I could also look for another land. Tilt. Tender's pretty good. That's a good one. Uh, that was a very good card. And now we're dead. Hey, Amnesiac. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. That gets us to our first sub goal of the day. Yeah, if, I mean, if we had, if we didn't have Starfield Mystic, if we had the other, the other one, the, you know, like, this needs to be the Seder. If this was the Seder instead, 
you know, we would have shocked to play the prison realm, but you know, we would have helped find helped find land drops. <laughs> I like Seder a lot more than Starfield Mystic. I just don't I don't have a good play. Yeah, it does have a lot of text on the card. They have Ember Cleave too, they just have it all. Yeah, Mystic Mystic's definitely playable. I mean, we played it in the green white deck, and it was it was fine. Um, if you can play a longer game, and if you can have, uh, see again, I think I'd rather have like the like more dead weights and stuff like that with Mystic, because you know your enchantments go to the graveyard. You put plus one plus one counters on Mystic. So you know if we had if we had dead weights and the the new uh, grasp, whatever or Meyer or whatever that name of that card is. You know, if we're playing black, we need to be playing those. Need to have a lot more of those. Myers Grasp, I think. That card will also work perfectly with Starfield Mystic. The Seder card's the two drop that puts lands into. In your, you look at the top three cards of your library and put a land in your hand whenever you play a enchantment. Yeah, exactly. Then you get all your lands out, and then you're just drawing gas. Because you already got your lands out. Tropia the twice favorite. I'm not sure what that card does. The multiverse provides me with fascinating new experiences. Just play like Cavalier or something then okay cool. Not Nissa. Did not want to see Nissa. Good. Mill over Nissa's. I don't want you to draw Nissa. I want you to play Nissa. So the painful part about playing three three colors, of course. But yeah, Calyx is pretty awesome. Song. This is the dead weather. Is the band. And the song is Blue Blood Blues. Do you get to see the cards anymore with Calyx? No, so they go back in random.
Yeah. I mean, my opponent hasn't dealt any damage to me. We've sh shocked five times. So it's one blue-green creature that whenever an enchantment creature enchantment enters, you put a plus one plus one counter on a creature and gives it flying until end of turn. Okay. All right, got rid of two more Nissas and a Krasis. There goes Finale. An Agent of Treachery. That's that was a really good mill over for us. I mean, sure, they get a quasi duplicate, but it's a bunch of good cards. Get a land out of the deck. <laughs> Go, Satessan Champion. <laughs> you forgot we were playing Absian. Oh no, that's bad. That's a great card to quasi duplicate. That was not a good card for me to see them draw. They just milled over like five cards, five spells. Why didn't they hit a land? Oh, they're still doing that one. Good. They don't draw a card with Cavalier Thor. Oh wait, yeah, they do. They just draw one, but not draw two. I'll take that. I wish I could, I wish like the plus one plus one counter adding onto it was a May. Like I want to keep this a 4-6, I don't want this to, like this one I want to keep a 4-6. The other one I want to keep growing, but I want to keep the other one a 4-6. That's a terrible attack. Thank you. All right, go Starfield Mills to go. Yeah, so the die trigger on Cavalier of Thorns, you have to exile it. So if it's a token from the graveyard, if it's a token, you don't get to exile it from the graveyard. I mean, I think we just play this because we can just kind of keep on going and try to draw more cards, but hopefully we draw spells. There we go. Gosh, Treacherous Blessing. Yuck. No, Archon. Oh, 
Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I don't have. Never mind. Okay, never mind. We're, we're okay. I don't have lethal yet. Okay. Never mind. I need more mana. But I was wondering if I could have had lethal. I could not have had lethal. So it's okay. Oh, like, I got lethal for next turn. Just hopefully my opponent doesn't kill me this turn. Yeah, if, if I would have had two more mana, I would have been able to kill them there. Good. We're not dying. They had to draw, you know, Finale. Finale was the card they needed to draw. I mean, I guess a Hydro Crisis would have been annoying. Would have just gained them a good amount of life. That yeah, that would have been somewhat problematic, but now we have the Alcide make the Satessan Champions unblockable. That's 24 power with Satessan Champions. Am I going to mill out? Yeah, I'm not sure if I like these Timurit Calls of the Dead in here, honestly. <laughs> I'm just going to make you mill out. Like... Yeah, I mean, I could see if we if this wasn't enough damage, I could see us just milling out because of these. Oh right, Shepard with I'll see. That's pretty cool. Sure. Oh no! Okay, never mind. Don't do that. Wow. Oh, this is close. Okay. Let's not do that again. <laughs> Kendis, stop with the puns. This is not a pun. Yeah, I mean, we still have lethal. I just drew my last two cards. You lose whenever you just can't. Whenever, if you if you would draw a card and you cannot draw the card, then you lose. So you can have zero cards, but if we if we have anything that says draw one more card, then we lose. <laughs> I wasn't like mad, Candice, if you thought thought I was I was mad at you. I wasn't That wasn't like a mad thing. Okay. Um So we have Dispark. To Spark, Prison Realm. Do I want the Great Henge? They're going to be playing a bunch of Aether Gusts. <laughs> Splash Blue for Jace. I mean, just playing Dryad means you have blue mana. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Nobody. Let's see. Maybe just take take out these Timurit Calls of the Dead. I don't know if we really need like two, two twos. Kind of want to kill Risen Reefs. 
Oh, the Kaya kills Risen Reef. Play Great Hedge instead of this, this Blessing thing. That's going to kill me. Alright, let's give it a try. No, probably about three or four weeks. I'm moving in about three or four weeks. But I have the house picked out and everything, and so I know where I'm moving. We just have to get the purchase finalized and. You know, it's, it's not on the market anymore. They're not selling it to anybody else. It is a sweet house. It's not too big. Um, I wish it was just a little bigger, but it's fine. It's, it's perfect size. For, for, you know, like it's, it's definitely big enough for me. It's got a good backyard for the for the dogs. I could do a tour video, sure. Yeah, it's not too small, so it's just right. Is it, they made that look like they drew a card off of destroying my enchantment, but that was because... They just drew for turn. It just went quickly. they had counter magic that they wanted to use. I think they had like negate or something. I don't know. No, I don't think the historic anthology one bundle is worth it. No. You can you can like not all those cards are you need for historic. Like only just a couple of them. And so like if you need like whatever card you need, you can just use wild cards. It's just better to and like not very many of them are like there's only like one mythic, I think. Maybe there's actually actually there may be no mythics and just like a couple of rares. It's just much better just to use wild cards on like the cards you need for historic anthology. I wouldn't recommend spending thirty four hundred gems on, on that at all. Yeah, my house doesn't get frontier for the internet. Um, I've I've a lot of I've a lot of friends at Denton. There's there's like two internet service providers you can get in Denton. Uh, Frontier and um, I don't know some cable company. That's that's the one that my house gets. Yeah, I think we want this. Um, a lot of my friends that have Frontier don't like it at all. A, like they're basically split half and half. Like a couple of them don't like it at all. Like where their service would cut out for like three weeks, and then a couple of others say that it's worked just fine for them. I think Spectrum. I think the other one's Spectrum. The thing I'm worried about, of course, is my upload speed, because most people don't really, you know, like, the upload speed isn't that big of a deal for almost everybody, but for me, it is a big deal, and that's the thing that I'm worried about the most. I 
I think I should probably just actually cast the Banishing Light on the Lovestruck Beast. Instead of playing another Cetessian Champion. Even though we don't get to draw, like, one extra card, it just makes it so they're not doing tons of damage to me this turn. Um... Yeah, we'll play this too. It's going to cost me two life, but... Now I have just a lot better blocker. Will you be active in the local community in Denton? Probably not too much. No, I've, I've never been in too active in local community. I am thinking about joining my development homeowners association um i don't know whatever that's called like you know be a part of the board uh it's kind of sounds cool being a part of the board So now we can have the LC protect the Satessan champions. Owen. Yeah. Denton. I don't know. I'm, I don't pronounce it correctly, probably. Mysterious Pathfinder. Each creature that has an adventure enters the battlefield with a 1 1 counter. Path lighter, not finder. This is crazy. Enchantment on enchantment crime there. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. Let's see. So they're playing Conclave Tribunals. I could play Heliod's Intervention. They're probably going to like Heliod's Intervention me, and that'll be sad. Need to kill in Edgewall Innkeepers. So Othakaya Deadweight coming in. <laughs> His donation deck has spunk. I like it. Did anybody get the license plate of that truck that just ran through the opponent? The champion noise sounds like a, a cash register. It does kind of sound like a cash register, doesn't it? That's true. Um, What else do I want to board out? I hope they don't play this card against me. I'll probably just lose. They do. A sideboard could probably use a sweeper of some of some sort. I 
Ooh, have fun tonight, Rex. Yeah, have fun. So just so we're clear, Todd exiles opponent's creature, then the opponent exiles the exiler that exiled their creature, so they get it back. Then Todd exiles the exiler that was exiling his exiler, so his exiler comes back and then exile the creature again. That is a fair representation of what happened. I could see that. Um, Valentino says that Satessan Champion should have just been a white creature to make white. To kind of improve white and stop giving green. Stop giving green the thing that just draws lots of cards. Like, why is green... Like, why does green have to just have everything that draws cards? Like, why... Green never used to be a, a color that just said all your cards that draw cards are now green. Like why why is that a green a staple of green as part of the color pie? Like why do they get that? Yeah, champion could be a white card. Man, my throat. <clears throat> cough drop. That's what I need. I need a cough drop. My throat's really bothering me. But we can't double spell. So we're going to play one thing. And with that being the case, I think I want to play the Nightmare Shepherd. Wait, okay, I need to learn how to work this. I just muted myself whenever I talked, but what I was saying was that Archon was just the best card to play. And we're not in trouble of dying, and we should just play the best card to play. So Shepard gives me a good card that, to protect from sweepers, where we still bring back Archon and Satessan Champion. I don't think that was the ideal attack.
God, dead weight is so good. See, <clears throat> that's what I think we need. We need more like dead weights and Myers grasps. Both those cards are awesome. Tap the Archon. Now you take five instead of three. <laughs> okay, four and one. We are on to the final boss. Enchantment stuff's good. All right, we got our final boss playlist. Get hyped. Going for the 5-1. Zico1 with a Twitch Prime sub. Thanks so much for that support, Zico. Welcome to the channel. Our 11th sub of the day. No, I don't I don't usually have any deck queue beyond the present day. Tomorrow I am I am leading off with a Demir Nadir Kraken deck. Like Demir Control with Nadir Kraken as a finisher. Okay, so they have a perfect hand. <laughs> they had another Scry 3 and they still just wanted to keep all three on top, so we are going to die. Their hand is perfect. GG. Oh, there you go, hype for blue black. Thank you. And then I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna replay like the teamer ramp deck tomorrow. Also, I am not going to sit this way. yep, their hand's perfect. And then they play fires, and then Sphinx. And so on. And we're dead. Two lands never beats a perfect hand. Might be a bad idea. Oh, no fires. Hmm. Well, I guess it wasn't perfect then. Yeah, well, <clears throat> we're going to have We're going to be playing Ashiok in the deck tomorrow. I got th I got three Ashioks in there. Ashiok does give blue black control an answer to any type of permanent. Not really seeing it.
I guess we're trying this. I'm not really seeing how we're winning this one. Good dead weight five fives. No, we're we're not winning this. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't know how many times a day I get mana flood or screwed. I I don't know. Would it be too much to put four copies each of Deadweight and Myers Graps in an Abzan Enchantments? In the main deck, yes, but in the 75, you know, like have, you know, have like about four of those in your main and about four more in the sideboard. I think that's reasonable for sure. But you want to want all those in the, in the main deck. I want land. But Banishing Light is my only removal spell for all their stuff. And I just have to keep it. Oh, you just normally play best of one. I would probably have like five of those in best of one. Depends on like how many. If you see a lot of creature decks, you can maybe put a sixth in there. Because so I probably have like five or six in best of one. I probably have like. I mean, it depends on the curve of the rest of your deck. But Myers Grasp is going to do a little bit more for you. If it resolves, Calyx is my best card to play. I'm not sure it's going to resolve, though. It probably resolves. They don't play a lot of instants. Oh, right. I had five mana. You are all I didn't need a shock. For the damage to destiny. The patterned future appears before me. But yeah, if it, if it turns out it's just like all creatures right now, then sure, go ahead. Play. Play all of them. Clothis, show me my path. Alright, so we start with you. And then you are free. And then we play you. I'm going to play you. Yeah, Jessica Giants was, was really good. Calyx is this thing. Calyx Destiny's Hand. Is this supposed to be Calyx or something? Am I pronouncing that wrong? If I make this block, they stomp Starfield Mystic. That's still fine. Calibrate. Calyx. We 
we are final boss in. Final boss time. The stars will light our way. Like we're gonna win this game with us being on the play, having a, a good solid hand, and my opponent getting stuck on two mana for a little bit. Minus seven's not doing a whole lot for me. That's okay, we can keep ticking up. Alright, we'll just have <clears throat> a Banishing Light hold both of those. And Alcied can protect the Banishing Light also. Yeah, I w yeah I'll definitely be playing a Golgari enchantment deck. Yeah, I mean, I th yeah. I like Golgari enchantments too. Hopefully that goes just like it did. Put the creeper on, creature on the ramp enchantment. I, I mean, I like to I'll see be able to protect the those, but like that same one. I don't know if they had like a Heliod's intervention that blew up or like something like that. We could protect that same one, but yeah, the ramp enchantment is a good thing to put creatures under with Calyx for sure. Thanks, Jason. Do I think Erebos is any good? I mean, sure. I mean, Erebos is playable. You just kind of have to understand, you know, how its effect on the game. It's mostly, the gods are mostly not going to be creatures. It's kind of true for all the gods. I don't think you just want to stick it into just like any deck at all. It's still just guy giants. Surprised nobody said anything about that. Is that better now? Yeah, two yeah, two nightmare shepherds. One would trigger the other and so on. That's not good. We get to just keep the Sphinx and keep scrying and everything.
Well, like I said, like I said earlier, I don't, I don't think this wasn't a, a matchup that I was really expecting to win. Yeah, there's probably a Thassa Golos build. Not sure what the payoff would be. It could be like Agent of Treachery. Start flickering that too. Yeah, but yeah, Thassa with Golos, that is pretty awesome. Hey, Chronic Slayer. Yeah, that'd be a different a different deck, but yeah, you definitely have a bunch of ETB effects, like you have Basilica Bell Haunt with Shepard. Absolutely. That wouldn't really be the the enchantment deck. But yeah, you definitely do that. Well, if they're playing Bone Crusher Giant, then they're probably not playing. Clarion. Clary on my wayward son. Hmm. I probably need to trade Archon for Kenrith or Sphinx. So yeah, enchantments have they have a lot of good stuff going for it. Um Yeah, a lot lot of really good stuff. And I think that Abzan together can just be a great color combination. Sure. Um this I'm gonna I'm, you know I'm gonna be working on like my own Abzan enchantment list. There's Things I liked and things I didn't like. Um, Archon did look really good. It's kind of hard to fit Archon, Shepard, and Calyx all together. But Archon did look very good. Timurit Calls the Dead was like okay, but I, I don't think that it's... I don't think you really need it. I don't think that... I, I don't think we want Timurit Calls the Dead or Ephemia. I, I don't really, and so maybe not even, I mean, that, I mean, I'm just saying just take out all the black cards. <laughs> Zade Shepard, Timurit, Ephemia, and Treacherous Blessing. Those were like my four least favorite cards in the deck. <laughs> all right, well, I guess that means that I, I like green-white. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of want to go a different way with black. Like, I, I really like the, uh, the aura removal. And I'm kind of interested in Hateful Eidolon, another way to draw even more cards. I'm kind of interested with that, with black, having black for Hateful Eidolon, Deadweight, and Meyer's Grasp. And not really these things. I mean, I like Shepard too. Shepard's awesome. But it's, it's going to be hard to fit Shepard and Archon, and I want more Calyx. It's going to be hard to fit everything there in the four mana slot. Uh, I didn't like our side like sideboard... I mean, I guess another sp you know another spinner is fine. Dispark's good, but um, I don't know. We don't we don't have like ways to. I don't like our sideboard wasn't very good. Like, okay, I guess. Sorry, the Great Henge. The Great Henge needs to go. That's not. That, this isn't a very good sideboard card. I like Oath of Kaya. I think Oath of Kaya could just be main deck though. Like instead of some of these other things. I like Oath of Kaya in the main. Um, Uh, but yeah, so there we go. Eidolon is very contingent on having a creature enchanted, though. Yeah, sure, but it's also just... I mean, the thing is, it's a one-mana card. Like, I, it's basically be the same... Like, I'd rather play it over Alcide. Um Even if you don't have that, 
part, it's still a one mana thing that triggers your te- Tessian champion and um, the Seder. Because you should definitely be playing the Seder. But yeah, I'll, I'll work on um, Abzan enchantments. We'll, we'll play another Abzan enchantment deck um, in the future. Because, uh, yeah, if you have Seder and Champion and the Eidolon, that's, you know, that's 12 cards that are, are basically, like, you know, you draw cards when you play your enchantments, and you just can, you just get through so many cards if you're doing that. It's just so much card advantage. Yeah, the Seder, I don't know, what's, I don't know what the, the name of the card is. Somebody said it earlier. But it's, there's no, Nessian Wanderer. Nessian Water needs to be a four of in this deck. It's more important than Starfield Mystic. I mean, because it's just, it's basically another Cetessian champion. You draw a card every time. Like, th- this should just be a four of. But anyway, there we go. So there's Abzan Enchantments. It's still, still very powerful. And um, a lot of good stuff going on here. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave the comments. You know, let me know how Theros is going for you, what you're doing over there in Theros, and uh, what cards you want to see me to uh, build around in future streams. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Abzan Enchantments, and I'll see you for the next video.